Are you ready? Give me a shot. Okay. Good morning, Colonel. Um, we we are here. You've actually asked me to come along and ask you for um, that. I that I just take a look at the charges that have been laid against you as a third person. I'm totally out of the picture. I know nothing about your case, and I just like to ask you a couple of questions with regard. It's not a legal thing. It's just that from a third party's point of view, um, that one gets an understanding of what has actually happened. Now, there are several charges that have been laid against you, the first being a contravention of Section 17 of the MDC, which is using threatening, insubordinate, and insulting language. I'd like to tackle that one first. Um, now, just for all of us to get an understanding, what were the circumstances, if I may ask, what were you doing at the, um, or on what course were you and where were you on course, around about what time? Uh, the year was 2002 till March 2001, six months course uh, theory, uh, the UNA command and staff duties course done in Pretoria or Tabatswane uh, at the Army College. Uh, so I was there as an officer under instruction, in other words, a student. A student. Okay. Colonel, if I may ask, what were the circumstances that actually led to this? If you could explain to us, um, from what I could see, there was, it appears that even in the charge sheet there was a little bit of tension at the school or actually on the course. Could you um, perhaps just expand that for me, that one that one can understand what actually happened on the course? There was corruption that was busy going on on the course in relation to the uh, allocation of marks to students, the corruption that was uh, practiced between uh, the students and, uh, and the instructors. Basically there was sex exchange, people were giving sex favors in order to get marks. So that was the uh, commotion that started the whole thing. Uh, there's a particular individual there, I might as well identify the name, who was a major by then. Uh, uh, you'd rather not have the names. But, no, 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 but, no, no. But I don't a, think we have to know names. I right. think it's just, just that point one is, gets a picture. Yeah, but the point is this, mm. this corruption which was caused by this particular major, by the, who is now a general, uh, uh, it's a black woman. It caused the white students, including white instructors, to, to, to have a problem because when this exchange, when she was, you know, passing through these favors, uh, the, the course chairperson, who was also a black fellow, uh, was not very, was not very forthcoming in terms of bringing that to uh, you know to order as, as a course chairperson. So the white students on the college felt that there was black racism on the college. So it ended up with a conflict on the college between blacks and whites. The long and short of it. Thank you, because I can see in the charges they also say that there were claims of racism and stuff like that. Now, um, if I may ask you, what? So, would you identify as the um, mood on the course as being stressful? Very polarized indeed. Right, so it was polarized. Yeah. Was there anything done by the student leaders, or um, either by the student leaders or by the course leader, or even by the officer commanding to actually attend to this? No, there was nothing done because this particular major is well connected. Is a, is a relative who's a former president, so they were afraid of tackling her and her sweetheart was the instructor. So they were afraid and they ended up asking the chief of the army by then, General Romano, Lieutenant General, to intervene. But even he, after sending his uh, inspector general, got everything swept under the carpet. Okay. I'd like to go to the first charge that, that was actually laid to you, the contravention of Section 17 MDC using threatening and insubordinate or insulting language. Now the claim is that around about the sixth day an allegation is made that um, Basically, um, Colonel Hendrik Bayes, the Chief Instructor, Junior Command and Staff, that you said to Colonel Kleinhans, um, I'm fucking telling you that, and that there seemed to be a way that, or that he wasn't doing his job. Um, could you give us a little bit of background around that? What was, what was meant by that? What was meant by that, although it didn't happen the way it has been reflected, but what happened is that some 20 minutes prior to the incident that uh, Kenneth Lenance is referring to, he himself had been in, in front of the course or the class. And um, there, that's where he was like alleging that because I'm one of these black, black students who, you know, take advantage of the black government, I want to pass not by hard work, but by virtue of color. So I had requested then after that to go and see him in private in his office because I could not respond to it because he particularly singled me out. So I went to his college. But insofar as what took place there, this is just a, a sheer fabrication between Colonel Clenans and uh, the Lieutenant Colonel uh, Lindsay, who was his second in command, who was having a love affair, was having a love affair with that major I talked about who is well connected. 
Were there any other members present at the stage when they claimed that this incident happened? I'm glad to ask that question. There was another member. He now works for National, uh, National uh, Intelligence. He was Major Matley, the very student leader who was pussyfooting on the corruption of that major. I might as well mention it's Major Bobelo. Now she's a general. Who was Now that leader was there when this thing was supposed to happen. Uh, he's the third, it was me, uh, Raymond Linsui, and then Major uh, uh, Matley. He was now the course chairperson. Now, I ask him to tell the truth. He has run away, he hasn't given any statement. He, he chose not to give any statement. So there's only two people who gave the statements, two accusers, one being Colonel Clenance and his deputy, uh, Raymond Linsui, the Colonel. In terms of this incident, sir, um, were there any recommendations that were made at some stage regarding the incident um, about, how, about how it could be fixed? Oh, yes. The tensions with the students and indeed, so on? Indeed, indeed. When this took place on the 6th, if you read the charge, uh, the charge, if I remember well, it was the 6th of February. That is the very day that the Inspector General of the Army was there to sort out all this mess. So he stayed in the college by the name of General... Uh, General, uh, General uh, um, Mashwala. He stayed from the 6th of February till the 6th of March investigating this issue. So in fact IG was there? He was indeed there and there was a report and then at the end of the report then this is the guy who ended up being charged for all the commotion of the college. I was the first. So guy. therefore without leading you sir, would you describe the standard of <laughs> discipline at, this, at, um, at the school at the time? Yeah. Would you regard that as having been, been high? Very poor. And the main reason is that soldiers like me uh, and others, we are being politicized. If I've got a connection, if Zuma is my uncle, I want to use the fact that he's my uncle so that I can bully even senior. That's what happened in this case. So discipline was terrible. Yeah. Um, when, when command or when, shall we say, um, things were said between members, were the intents um, to be threatening or to be insubordinate or were they trying to be um, helpful and try and remedy the situation that existed at that stage. Where other people are concerned, I cannot comment whether they had genuine, you know, interest. But insofar as I was concerned, I've tried since my career as a uh, as a soldier from 1976 to be disciplined, and um, I've always also spoken my heart. I think that's where I, how how I became a fall guy. Okay, um, Colonel, if I may ask you, did the school take any other measures? to correct the um, circumstances around that specific course. I know myself when I've been on courses or whatever and there is an issue between the students and the and leaders or between groups within the student body, um, the school will normally intervene and get somebody in to come and sort it out. Was did, did anything happen like that with you? The highest that happened was the Inspector General of the Army um, and that's what as far as I, I can remember. Where I'm concerned, of course, I got charged. I got charged um, on the 9th of uh, March now, 2001, as a result of the whole commotion. And the charges today is the 1st of October 2010. They are still standing in the military court. Remember, if I could explain that for one sole reason. Um, when I, I pleaded, immediately after pleading, uh, which was a, a compelled kind of a pleading, by the judge was forcing matters despite many applications to have access to the board of inquiry on which I was charged by the inspector general of the army. The high court intervened, said minister you cannot continue this case, it's procedurally wrong, you cannot charge Peter until you give him inspector general's report which I still don't have. So the court was stopped till today. Good. That's so all in I fact say. ever since then nothing has really been done to remedy what 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 happened on that specific course at that stage? No, the course is still, if I, if I may put that, it's still a sick course because if still people use political connections, then we're no more soldiers, we're politicians trying to be soldiers. Right, thank you, Colonel. Um, then, so, and then I'm going to ask a very straight question. Um, were the words, or did you ever hear the words used, or did anybody hear the words used, and I quote directly, I am fucking saying that to you. Were those words ever used? Or, I, or, or I didn't use those words. Yeah. Thank you, Colonel. You don't know whether anybody else used them. Okay. I'm not aware of that, right. but I'm supposed to have used them, but I didn't say such words. Okay. And the purpose of, um, shall we say, your, your disc uh, did you go, or shall we, or can I ask you this, did you go and see Colonel Kleinhans at any stage, 
with regards to the incidents that were that were happening on the course? Um, after the particular incident mentioned, Jay, where I'm supposed to have called him names, um, he then, a month later, he then called me. Uh, he was together with uh, now his Brigadier General Trust. They called me to say I must explain myself, that was a month later, about that particular incident. And uh, I chose to put it in writing. And um, there was another board, mini board done by General Trost, but then he was still a colonel. And then I was called to that uh, board of inquiry. And after that board, that's when now General Trost charged me. He's the one who formulated those charges. I can he see, was sir, the commandant. He was the commandant, or rather acting commandant of the college. I can see, sir, that under charge six, they say that apparently you had to write a letter of explanation. Indeed. But I will get to that one Indeed. just now, please. Um, you know, are there any questions? Or? Yeah, only one or two. Uh, General Piri, on the day, the same day on the 6th, uh, what, what, what led you to, 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 to say the words that, that as, the, as they've been stated on the chat sheet? I'm um, fucking. What, 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 what made you to, to, to speak? Maybe you didn't hear yourself, or maybe somebody heard you uh, saying these words. What led you to, to, to tell the, 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 this colonel uh, criminals such a secret? What, what happened during the, 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 the period? In the class. Yes. What happened in the class, because there was this tension between black and white, like I explained earlier on. Now, Colonel uh, Clenance, who was now the, um, the chief instructor of the course, was embroiled in it because he was being accused by the course chairperson of being a white racist. There was that tension between the, 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 the Martley, the course leader, and Colonel Clenance. So he was also himself in Brussels. So he comes into the course to answer some of those allegations prior to the arrival of the IG of the army to try and like cleanse his name in front of the whole course there. That is when now Colonel Clenance targets Piri out of all, by the way, I was the most senior in the course. There was a course of majors. He targets, targeted me. I was not even part of the, uh, what you call the people embroiled. For that matter, on the course, I had one distinction. I was said by both black and white students to be impartial. I mix with both, and people were surprised why Colonel Clenans targeted me. So I am supposed then, with this allegation, to have gone there because of that provocation by Colonel Clenans, you know, to get even with him. But of course, like I said, I didn't utter those words. I went to him and spoke to my dissatisfaction with the way he addressed me in front of a course, embroiling me in something that I was not involved with. After, after that, that incident, did you put uh, that query, that, that, uh, to redress that wrongs on writing? Thank you very much. That question, sir, I appreciate because now, the same uh, day after the, 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 the run-in, if you may call it, between me and Kenneth Lainans, the Inspector General Mashallah was on the college. He asked, anybody wants to comment about the commission? I was the first one to raise my hand and say, I'm ready to tell you. So I awaited to be called by the, uh, the, uh, the that, um, um, board done by General Mashallah, which he never called. I was never called. The next thing I had while I was still waiting for in the 30 days to be called, I was called and I was charged. No further questions. Okay, ducks. Um, so